And now, it's time to move on to the thing that you all really came for today, <laughs> and that is the awards. Uh, and so it's my pleasure to introduce a brand new award for us this year. It's not an annual one, that is it's not one that will regularly necessarily be awarded, but from time to time, one of our uh, federal or state uh, elected officials really goes above and beyond the call of duty to advance an issue that is particularly important to Mark and to this region. And so we wanted to honor that kind of extraordinary effort. And so instead of doing it as another regional leadership award, we thought it merited its own new award. And so I can't think really of a better person to honor with our very first presentation of the Mark's Distinguished Policy Leader Award than State Representative Jeannie Lauer. Jeannie, would you join me? Who's Jean? There she is. Come up here on stage. For the past six years, Jeannie has worked tirelessly on legislation to give counties more options for funding 911 services. And as many of you in this room know, Missouri has long been the only state in the country that had no mechanism to collect fees from cell phone users to support 911. Even though now more than 70% of the 911 calls come in from cell phones. So for the past several years, Jeannie has sponsored legislation and it passed the House, but every year it would die in the Senate. <laughs> And so, we're really uh, delighted to say that this year, finally, in 2018, on the very last day of the session, in Jeannie's very last term in the House, the bill has passed. <laughs> and so, Jeannie, for all your hard work, and for your dedication to public safety and many of the other issues that you've worked on over the years, it is just my pleasure to present you with the first Policy Leader Thank Award. So much, Carol. Congratulations. Thank you. This is really heavy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all uh, so very much. I am both very grateful and um, honored to, to get this award. After six years, the first uh, six years ago when Jason White and, and some of the colleagues from Mark came into my office and they're like, you know, we have a little bill we'd like to see if you'd carry for us. And I said, oh, and they explained it was about 911 funding. And I said, well, have you talked to anybody else? And they say, yeah, one other, but they didn't want it. Uh, okay, well, thank you for making me second on the list. <laughs> Uh, but this has never, never been about me. It is about uh, the hundreds of organizations that have supported this over six years, the hundreds of people, and I mean hundreds of people, who have come to the Capitol and walked the halls and talked with legislators who have made calls, who have uh, back home done everything they could to support it, and the thousands of hours, thousands of hours that have been put in to, to do this. And it is not because it is a bill. It is not because anybody wanted just something to hang on the wall. It is because we're out here to save lives. And that is truly what this is about. And couldn't have done it, uh, certainly without Mark's staff. Thank you, David, with all the staff and resources that you've provided. And of course, we've had many from the area and all, every corner of the state has come. We've had members, uh, individuals from Holt County, EMS folks. We've had Hannibal Sheriff come down. We've had. Uh, Lake of the Ozark people, we've had Pemiscot County in the boot heel, and all across Missouri, people came because they understand the importance of having a, a, an acceptable and a highly acceptable 911 service across our state. Because it is for our citizens, but as we also know, it's for our first responders. And so it is very, very critical that we're doing this, and until this time, it has not hit me that we've really passed the bill. So, so it's finally hitting me at this moment. And I do want to give a, a very special shout out to Mr. Chris Crawford, if he would stand up. He has worked with me in the office all this time. <laughs> to help me. And, and we have a, a regular team that we've, we have together. Uh, Jason White, who's been working with Mark, and Scott Penman, who has been the lobbyist. And, literally on a day-to-day -day basis, we would be in contact with one another and work with one another. 
And over all that time, I'm glad to say you're all my friends. Thank you. Yeah.